Hey guys, what's up? It's Gray. How's everybody doing tonight? Um, so it's time for me to fulfill a promise that I made that I, uh, declared in the video honoring former, former and late singer of Stone Temple Pilots and Velvet Revolver singer Scott Wyland. I made a promise on the day I I did his death announcement video that I would do a video about his original band, the Stone Temple Pilots, to further honor his memory. And at last, the time to do that has arrived. So, just to give you guys a very basic back history, SGP were formed in San Jose, California back in 1986 um, and they made they managed to release six studio albums with the original I am. They won an order core that purple tiny music box Shangri-La sorry core purple Tiny Music Box, number four, Shangri-La Di Da, and their 2012 reunion record with Scott Weiland, um, simply entitled S Stone Temple Pilots. Um, now, um, when the, when the band reached the point of uh, 2002, um, the band decided to part ways. Um, now, obviously, during this time, Scott Warren, legendary rock supergroup Velvet Revolver, um, in which um, the band, like, like they did uh, Guns N' Roses tracks, they quite often did SDP tracks as well. Most notably, Vaseline, Interstate Love Song, and Six Step Thing. Um, now, um, Stone Temple Pilots' uh, reunion tour with Scott um, began on April 7, 2008. Only a week after he was rejected from Velvet Revolver. And this series of dates would unfortunately be the last time the world got to see the original lineup of the band. Now, I've, um, I know that they released an EP's worth of material with Lincoln Park singer Tick. Chester Bennington, but obviously that didn't work out very well because uh, Chester and the band have parted ways, so Bennington can focus on Lincoln Park a bit more. Now, I said this about Velvet Revolver, but I really do mean this with STP, okay? Um, now that Scott's gone, I think Robert, Eric, and Dean, the, the three surviving members of STB, should do what Scott wanted all along, not use the name since he's there. Not there. Um, not to mention, um, Chester really didn't even fit the material that they were presenting out live. Um, and really, the way those songs are written, I don't think a lot of people could. Um, so, in my opinion, um, the last show that they ever did with Scott was the last real performance of his Stone Temple Pilots. Um, now, if the band finds a lead singer that can respectfully, um, present their material and preserve the memory of Scott, I'm all for that. But all I'm saying is, much like with Velvet Revolver, 
when Scott died, he took both versions of those bands down with him. Um, now, no official statement has been made by the band, but if you ask me, I think that they're just going to sort of let the grieving, let the grieving process sort of continue and then see from there. Um, that's all I wanted to say on it. Keep on rocking. Yeah.